So you're kind of the man of the year right now. I mean, when did you realize that what you've been working on is truly game changing? Well, Ian, about three, three weeks ago, we received the first look at the interim results from our phase three trial, 30,000 subjects involved. And that glimpse already indicated um, that we had a very strong statistically significant signal of efficacy at 94.5%. We kind of cracked open the whole kind of uh, the final analysis uh, of, the, of the results. Uh, and, and what we saw across 196 cases is a 94% efficacy. And importantly, we saw in serious COVID cases, a, a split of 30 to zero. 30, all 30 cases were in the placebo group, which represents 100% protection. That bodes well for a broader population. Obviously, this is a relatively small study compared to what we expect to vaccinate. But that all kind of sinks in pretty quickly. And the, the 10 months of work we've done to get to this point following 10 years of science and technology development. Uh, but the last 10 months now all of a sudden has, has shifted our emphasis and focus to how are we going to get this vaccine distributed and how do we ensure that it's safely administered and we track the folks who receive it. So there isn't much time to look back, but certainly uh, it's, a, it's a super gratifying and, and, and a sense of relief to know that the science and the technology that Moderna pioneered some 10 years ago seems to be having a pretty significant impact. As you say, this is a completely new technology. For the audience, just for give us one quick minute on, on how this works, the mRNA vaccine. What, what is it that makes this unprecedented in, in human beings? The central tenet in biology of life is that DNA is a molecule that stores information. Messenger RNA, mRNA, is the piece that copies that information over to making proteins, which are the important parts that govern the functioning of different cells. So messenger RNA is what we use to deliver the information uh, to the body of the subject. And inside the body, that we have specially formulated this such that the mRNA can get into certain cells that in turn translate the mRNA into proteins, just like the, the, the cells know how to do. But the protein we've coded for is a protein that is on the surface of this coronavirus. So what we're trying to do is to educate the immune system to see the protein before it's seen the virus and be ready with, with, with the arsenal of of immune cells and antibodies to attack that protein. Now, when a virus shows up to somebody who's had their immune system activated in that way, the immune system knows exactly what it's looking for and neutralizes the virus. That's why we see this kind of efficacy. Now, there's a very, very big difference between um, you know, the research that's required to get this vaccine uh, discovered, uh, if you will, and, and producing it uh, for uh, a billion people or more around the planet. So how, how do you do that? It's about people, it's about partnerships. We forged a, an early relationship with one of the leading, if not the largest uh, independent contract manufacturer of biologics, a company called Lonza, publicly listed, a very good partner of ours. I'd say, but for them, we would not have quite the path that, that we've had in terms of scaling. They have a plant in, in Switzerland that they've uh, devoted uh, a certain section up for this. So partnerships, people, resources, and the rest is ahead of us. There's a long, long way to go. Uh, but, you know, sometimes, uh, as you've seen in other industries, it helps a little not to know what you can't do. It helps a little to, to have to make it up as you go because, um, you know, there's a lot of things people think can't be done that if you are in a large company, you might actually decide, therefore, not to do. And in a pandemic, I think Moderna is certainly going from the, the initial sequence of this virus to having a designed mRNA being tested in two days and then tested in humans in four to two days. Uh, I don't think a large company by any measure would dare do that because they think it's completely impossible. And not until we did it did a lot of other people join the fray and realize, oh my God, this can be done. We better have our own way of doing it too.